ENV, short for electric networked vehicle, certainly looks like the future. GM estimates that by 2030, more than 60% of the world's population will live in cities. With that in mind, the company designed the two-seater electric car that aims to ease problems like traffic congestion and parking troubles as well as improve air quality. The ENV uses drivetrain platform technology that was developed by Segway and unveiled in 2009. It has two electric motors that are located in each of the wheels and are powered by lithium-ion phosphate batteries that can be recharged using ordinary outlets. Christopher Baroni Bird, head of the Advanced Technology Vehicle Concept Project at General Motors, says the ENV uses internet connectivity to improve safety. And these vehicles can communicate with each other and they also have a GPS antenna on the roof so they can communicate their position, they can communicate their speed, their location, their direction of movement and they can communicate that very quickly with other vehicles nearby to avoid collisions and to manage traffic more effectively. With each charge the ENV can travel 40 kilometers or 25 miles further than the average distance driven by most urban commuters. Baroni Bird says that the vehicle's advanced technology systems enable it to respond quickly to changing road conditions, which could help reduce accidents. You would punch into your navigation system the destination you want to go, and it would have accurate maps and know exactly what all the rules of the road were, the intersections, the traffic lights. It would communicate with the traffic lights and know whether they're red or green and so forth. It would communicate with other vehicles. The futuristic car was first unveiled at Shanghai's World Expo last year. The vehicle is seen as ideally suited to busy, bustling cities like Shanghai and Beijing, where car sales are booming and traffic is a daily problem. While the technology on the car is almost ready to go, engineers at General Motors say several more years of testing are needed before the futuristic pod-like car becomes available in showrooms. Sharon Reich, Reuters.